this is the other fairy. Um, so we've just got a new Goodwill in our city, and it's actually huge. And so I was able to purchase two jars. The only two they have. They're pretty small. They were eight ninety nine each, and um, I was eligible for the seniors discount. So there's some things that are good about aging, right? Uh, I'll do one at a time, but first I wanted to show you the other thing I bought there because I thought it was so whimsical. And um, anyway, it's enameled and um, I just love the face. And it's purple, and I love purple. So yeah, that's that. I think that was $3.29. So let's start with this guy. Oh my gosh, they take this, don't they? thing we have is um this is fun with the sort of disco ball-y things and faux pearls I actually don't mind that at all I think you would double it Pretty, it's in really good shape. And then let's see what we have here. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Looks like plastic. It's a good necklace. And really, really quite interesting colors. Let's see if there's any maker's mark on this. Chain feels grimy, so it maybe just needs a big cleaning. But if those were your colors, that would be pretty wonderful. Statement necklace. I like the bottom one is the most interesting. And then let's see. Oh, this matches the necklace. It's the same. Uh, interesting. So it's a set. And uh, that would be nice. So, bracelet there. I like that it's asymmetric. It's not even on both sides. That appeals to me. I don't like everything making sense. Anyway, that's that. And, um, It's a plasticky leather ish bracelet. And this would go right back to the thrift shop. I have to stop dropping this stuff off at the same thrift shop I bought it because I'll end up buying the same stuff over. Hmm. I think these are acrylic. The, the ones that look like rose quartz. I don't think they're um, anything special. But that would be um, really interesting for crafting. It's, it's an odd mix, I think, because there's stuff that looks like rose quartz and then there's stuff that looks like, you know, you're fixing the garage. So that's that. Um... This looks like a child's bracelet. 
I don't see any, oh, maybe there's a marker in here. Uh, oh, I didn't notice that. That's really pretty. But I'm very sure this would not fit my wrist. Oh. oh never mind. It does. And here we have um, a necklace, a uh, bra bracelet, sorry, with, um, with uh, stones. And um, I, I, th I wouldn't wear this, but I would... Definitely, that looks like a moonstone. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I would. I think I would save that for crafting for sure. And that's one jar down. And let's go to jar two. Okay, first piece we have. They look like real stones, but they're plastic. But still. Nice job. And I think I would use maybe those for crafting. bracelet and um, yeah not fussy on it but there's some nice beads on here that I've definitely reused and I think the memory bracelet has Alzheimer's it's not really remembering how it's supposed to go but that's that some pretty colors in there Um, like this um, bracelet, gold tone. Um, I believe it's missing stuff, so. I think that would go back to another thrift shop. And then we have, ooh, this is pretty whimsical. It's a, a choker, but look at, look at the end of it there. So I can put this in front of it. That's really pretty. Is there a string missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. I think there is, sadly, there's a space there where there should be another length of stuff. But, oh, I think it's really pretty. I wouldn't wear it because I don't attract anything to my chins. But, let's see. Cuff. Oh. It's really pretty on the ends. You see that? So this one had a lot of sparkly stuff in it. That's actually quite nice. I don't really wear a gold tone or anything, but that's quite nice. I'll just turn it around before the jar gets too hot. Um, this is a very big heart on a chain, 
uh, sort of a metal, gunmetal color. Uh, we have Sven. That looks like it's the season of the disco ball crystals. Oh, there are some very nice glass. You can tell when it's glass because you pick it up and it's so heavy. This is quite lovely. The colors in this are beautiful. So are the beads though. And I don't, the universe is trying to make me wear this sort of aqua color and I don't but the beads on here are really lovely and this looks like it's it's a um, homemade um, not that that lessens anything I mean if you love it you should wear it um, but I love the stones so I think I may be reusing that um, and we have this one uh, with a toggle clasp and again a disco ball in the middle it's like it all came from the same place and they really liked this um, this feels like it's on wire I'm not crazy about that it just doesn't feel comfortable to wear I like the blue stones in between I think they're they're pretty nice so crafting <sighs> bracelet with heart lobster clasp silver tongue yeah looks fairly new to me and wow Sadly, the center one is missing, and um, that's a shame because, uh, and the clasp on this side, that would have been an easy fix, but the center thing missing is not an easy fix. That's oh, too bad. It's very, very, very heavy. Oh no, I see it's there. And so, if there was a maker's mark, there's a good chance it was on the center one. But that's that piece. Um, I like yeah, their glass. Um, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure we can figure something out to do with that. But that's that, and that is the end of the show. Um, so, um, what do I love? I'm not sure I loved anything. Actually, I really loved this. I just thought that face on that was so cool and so abstract. And, um, yeah, I think for beads, we have a nice pile. And um, I'm not sure what I would wear in this. I might wear this. But, uh, and this is really pretty. This is really pretty for somebody who does work well. Um, it's just uh, really well made. Um, no stones are missing. And, um, and then there's this. So this could look ni 1920s, which I love that era. But. Okay, that's it. So thanks for joining me. And um, hopefully this, uh, this new Goodwill. I mean, that's my first time getting a, a jar of jewelry at Goodwill. Um, I'm in Canada. They don't have them a lot here like they do in the States. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, there we go. Thanks a lot, and um, we'll see you next time.